We doing it. We doing it. Mecca just caught this giant bluegill. Chef, tell us what we're doing. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna figure it out. Vinny's famous pickled onions. Yes. So is weird. We have our recipe and sweetness from our blood oranges. We have our freshness from our herbs. And we have, you know, a ton of sweetness and acidity from our roasted peppers. A little bit of lemon juice in there, some olive oil, some fat to cut it. And then this heat's just gonna cut through everything to kind of make, to balance everything out so we get like explosion of flavors. We're not gonna serve this, you know, integrated exactly with the fish, but it's like, you take a bite of fish, take a little bite of salad. Take a bite of fish, take a bite of salad. Take a couple bites of fish, a little more salad, you know? <laughs> just, just, just let it freshen your palate up a little bit and kind of enjoy it with the fish. My mouth, I'm literally salivating from that. <laughs> the idea of these bad boys, they're so freaking good. It sounds vibrant. You feel anything? Little pickerel. You're kidding. Oh, nice. That's why I didn't feel like anything. Well, <laughs> that little guy, guy is hungry, Ben. That's been, a massive He's been going harder. to town on that. Probably the same one. Look at the size. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Unbelievable. An ambitious little fuck. Here, you can let him go. It's your fish. Yeah, I'd love. First fish of the day. Oh. Absolute giant. And my first pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? Yeah. Oh, oh. Man. All right, first pickerel. All right. It's a little tyke. <laughs> He's cute. He was cute. He didn't even take it, so we're good. Pretty deep down, though. Oh my god. Yeah? Yeah, he was so far up in the water column. It's a pickerel. Oh, he took the shiner. That's a big ass shiner. How did he get that, that little turd? What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. We are out here with a grade school buddy of mine, Vinny Loria, Chef Vinny, to you guys. And uh, Chef here is going to be cooking for us today. We're doing a crazy catch and cook where we actually have a real chef, not myself, who's going to be cooking for us. And we're actually gonna start a series getting together with head chefs from restaurants and taking them out fishing and then having them cook for us. We have not yet thought of a name for this series, so if you could drop a comment down below, let us know what you guys think uh, the name of this series should be. We're gonna do some brainstorming today, so I'm, I'll let you know if we actually pick a name. But, Vinny just got his first pickerel, as you guys saw, his very first pickerel ever. He just got into fishing this year, right? Yeah. So, you know, hopefully we're, we're gonna put him on some fish. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish that we can actually cook up. And if this place, which is supposed to be super slow and has been super slow to me in the past, uh, but it can produce greatly. If this place is super slow, we're gonna move spots and go to a whole nother pond and see if we can't put together a good day of fishing because we wanna catch fish that we can eat. So let's get out here with Vinny. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready to rock. Ow. <laughs> Becca's here as well, obviously. Whatever. Where? Subscribe to her channel. It'll be linked down below. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, Vinny's Instagram uh, will also be linked uh, in the in the description down below. This one's moving. It's moving.
Got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. Keep rolling in, huh? Big boy. All right, Ben. That's something for you to cook. Yeah, I, I will. That's a big enough one to keep. All right, so Vin, hold on. We're gonna bleed them. I'm just gonna cut them right at the gills. Bleed them out. Boom. And on this side, that way the meat will be a little cleaner. Dispatch. And then we can put them in the slushy. Make the little slushy. Slushy for the buddy. Awesome. I'm not drinking Monster. Right, guys uh, this spot has been you know very low in production numbers I put the camera down in about 432,000 holes so we're gonna go drill 32,000 holes somewhere else and see if we can't mark some fish get some fish on the camera because we have the aqua view with us today so we're gonna be dropping that down around town trying to find some some residents uh, this place was pretty barren bottom was pretty barren I would like to find some structure, and uh, if we do that, maybe we'll find some more fish. What do you think, Becca? She almost just ate shit. She almost just ate shit. Luckily, uh, we already have a pickerel to cook, so that's good. We're, we're starting off with that. But we want to find some more fish and get like a plethora of different fish to try uh, for Vinny to cook up. Let's do this. Is that an eye? Yeah, he's, he's, he's missing an eye, definitely. Woo! All right, dispatch. Becca just caught this giant bluegill, missing an eye, but it's going into the catching cook. She's using the hummingbird fish finder while I go around and check holes with the camera. Obviously, I haven't seen anything. That's like her. That was like your second, second or third mark of the day. Huh. So it's a, it's it's been it's been very slow, but we're putting a meal together, and that's the whole point today is putting a meal together. So. Let's continue on the journey looking for some fish. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is where we ran into a little bit of trouble. In my mind, we could have stayed at this pond that we started at, possibly caught a couple more eater fish and put a little something together, but it was unbearably slow, unbearably. And inviting somebody up to fish with us for the first time ever, I wanted to put Chef Vinny on some more fish. So Becca and I had been discussing whether or not we should make a move. And kind of right after she caught this bluegill, about 15 minutes later, we were like, all right, let's go. So we picked up all of our gear and we headed on over to the very next spot. This is one of my spots where I don't eat the fish from this body of water because it's just, I don't know, I just love it the way it is. But today we were going to make an exception. We head on over to the very next pond. We set up our flags and then within a couple minutes of having the flag set up, one goes off and it's Penny's turn. It's running. All right, so. Oh wow. Hold on, right. hold on, hold All on. Right. Okay, now it's not moving. 
Oh, maybe it is. Here. See if it's there. Go ahead and just start going. Anything? Nah. Oh yeah. Maybe, oh yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay, relax, relax. That's that's decent. Keep going. Keep going. Man. Just let him pull if he's pulling. Yeah. Let him pull. That's yeah. a big fish. Yeah. All right, get him up. When he stops pulling, pull. And then if he's pulling, let him go. That's a big. He's got a big fish. Does he? Yeah. Good, 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 good. It's a bass. It's definitely a bass. Okay, relax. Get to the button. Wow, that's a big fish. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Big bass. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was way bigger, but God, that's a matter. great that's fish. A yeah. You. Nice one. All man. right. All right. Woo! Nice job, dude. All right. Uh, Becca. Trying to block the wind noise. Here. Why don't right. you tell us how you feel? And I feel pretty good about it. First ever bass on the ice, huh? Also the biggest bass. That's your biggest largemouth? Yeah. Oh, in, no. my, in my uh, four months. <laughs> so that's a PB? Feel, only been feeling, real, feeling real good about it. That's only sick, dude. Four months. That's so sick. All right, give him a quick dunk. I'm going to take a couple pictures and then you can let him go. All right, homie. Get her in the water. All right. Say goodbye to that lovely bass. What a gorgeous. Oh, put her in head first, by the way. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. Yes, dude. Hit it right here. <laughs> Woo! Is he going? So I'm over here bouncing around holes. I drilled a bazillion holes and I wanted to find the fish. Now, I'm new to the underwater camera thing. This is my first day out with it. And I feel that every time I drop it down, almost, almost every time, if there's not a giant pack of fish, they get spooked. Because every time I drop down, I don't see fish. Now, the last time I went out, that all changed and I dropped down on a giant pack of bluegill and they did not move uh, and we picked away at them and then later on that day at another pond I dropped down on a giant pack of micro perch like I my tiny little jig head and, and uh, mealworm didn't do the trick these things were so small uh, but that's besides the point I'm new to the camera and I'm jumping around from hole to hole to hole to hole and lucky for me, Becca was filming when this happened. I wasn't filming at the moment because I was so focused on finding some fish on the camera. So luckily Becca was here behind me when this happened. Sunfish? What is it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. First fish. That's a big pickerel, too. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, my. You cannot see that. My GoPro. That's so fucking awesome. Oh, he's going to annihilate it. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so cool. He tried to hit it, but he didn't hit it well. No, he's coming. Oh, <laughs> that was so sick, man. That is sick. Yes. Oh, 
my god, I was freaking <laughs> underwater <laughs> camera. <laughs> no, it wasn't even recording. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You were recording. I will also send you the clip. Holy that was sick, guys. That was sick. Awesome. I freaking got him on the aqua view. Oh hell yeah! That, that made so my cool. day. That made my day. Yeah. <laughs> Whole he day made. Way bigger. I know that was so <laughs> cool. He <laughs> looks so much bigger. Oh man, that was I've dope. I've never been so happy to see tiny pickerel. Yep, never in my life. That's so awesome. It's great. <laughs> Congrats, man. First fish on the aqua view, guys. And that we all got to, to witness. Picture. Yeah, that was so. Okay, that's so good. All right, little buddy. Bye, friend. Yelp. <laughs> yes, dude. Proud of you. Oh, that was so dope. That was so sick. That was so clear. Oh, oh, oh. Are you recording on the aqua view? No, I don't have the thing to do that yet. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude, that's an eater. Sweet. Yes. That's your first one ever jigged up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here, hold on. We just crushing right now. Hold on. On the aqua yeah. view, and hold then this. you get the first fish on jigging. Okay. So that's a bluegill. Yep, a bluegill. Well, it seemed like Finney had found a honey hole, and I did not have the means to record what was going on on my aqua view. So I took my GoPro and I set it up facing the aqua view screen for the next couple catches. I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what we were seeing down there. Now it's pretty hard to see with the glare, but I did my best. In the upcoming videos, you're gonna be able to literally see what's going on uh, on the aqua view. I now can do that. But Vinny found a pack of bluegills and they wanted to eat. And this was just so much fun. We were having so much fun just sitting in the chairs, shooting the breeze, and uh, slaying some bluegills. Come on, take it. Oh, there's a one on me too. Oh, there you go, you got it, you got it. Yes, dude! Yes! Yeah, he took your bait, get it up. Get it up, let's get a new one in. Oh, that's so sick, dude! Oh, yes. It's sick. That was so sick. Oh, shit, ever. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's another one. Or oh, the same oh, one. No, it's another. The other one was like going out of the shot as that one was coming in. One more. Oh, he's on you. Wait, let's go. Oh, I got it yet. You. He's a little, uh, he's a little tiny guy. Nice. Oh, that's an eater right. size. Yeah, just, that's an eater just size. Just doing it. We're just hanging out with Vinny, guys. Just kicking it. Finally getting fish on the aqua view. We found a good spot for them. They keep coming in in little packs here. Hold on. And that right there, friends, is another eater gill. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. And it's going to taste lovely. There I am. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> It's funny because it's like a little puppet show. Even if you don't catch anything. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, totally a puppet show. <laughs> Come on, you got it. Come on, you got it. Becca stepped away from us to get some really cool drone footage as we were just hammering away at these little bluegills. When all of a sudden we heard Becca tell us she lost her drone. Becca just lost her drone. We're gonna have to go try and find that before we start cooking. So a little bit of a drone update. Right after this happened, Finney and I had to get over to cook. Becca really wanted to get her drone back. So she contacted our good friend Chris Ellis, Mr. Tie Lines. He came down with like a pole attached to a pole attached to a pole and uh, still could not reach the drone. That drone was really really freaking high up in a tree not coming out so after a while Chris and Becca gave up they came to hang out with Vinny and I so Chris's brother-in-law is a professional tree climber uh, the very next day they went out there they went up the tree and retrieved Becca's drone 
the coolest part is the only thing that got damaged was the battery on the top she has three of them so she slapped a new battery on there the last time we went out and she was able to send the drone up and that darn thing works it actually freaking works i honestly cannot believe it i can't believe it but you know sometimes you just got to go through those trials and tribulations but the drone still works and uh chef finney is about to start cooking so let's get back to it all right ladies and gents uh chef finney here is about to you know get everything ready to cook but he's quickly going to go over uh where he's from his restaurants all that kind of good stuff and then tell us what he's doing this evening so the all right floor is yours sir what's happening dudes first of all thanks for having me on here with you todd and thanks for bringing me out for my first time ice fishing this has been phenomenal a lot of fun we've had trials we've had tribulations we've had good times we've had bad times but overall i think we had a pretty pretty good time and a success um, so I'm from Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, I actually grew up with Todd. Uh, we were friends in elementary, junior high until he bid us adieu. And uh, yeah, I continued in Nashua, and then I ended up. Uh, well, oh, we got a little. We got a little. What do we got? What do we got? Becca just caught a little perch. I'm just trying to open his mouth. Beautiful. Ni nice little perch after losing the drone. All right. She's using the aqua view right now. and That thing came right up in there and smacked her. From Nashua and uh, made my way to Denver, Colorado. Cooked there, had my first head chef job there when I was a young, young boy. And then uh, ended up in New York City working at a very premier Italian joint. and. From there, I ended up moving to Hong Kong. And uh, since then, I've opened up several restaurants all around Asia. Uh, right now, I own five places. I'm the chef uh, partner of five restaurants in Hong Kong and Singapore. That's uh, Feeney's, Posto Publico, Frank's, um, and we have I have the Guild in Singapore as well. It's so dope. What we're, hey, we're, I'm having fun with it, man, you know? It's been, been there for 10 years. And doing it. I'm trying to make my way back here. I spent a little bit more time with my friends and family back here. And again, um, first time ice, ice fishing in New Hampshire. Back to the roots, baby. All right, so what we're going to do is have some fun stuff. Uh, we have we have caught four uh, bluegills and one pickerel today. And, I mean, I think we had a, a, real, a real great day in my personal opinion. I, we had a... a a lot of fun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roast a little pepper here while we break down these fish. Uh, we're going to do a little fresh herbs, some citrus. You know, citrus is in season right now, and it's very rare that we get to use this fresh, beautiful fish with blood orange and, and lemon and beautiful things like that. And so we're gonna kind of improvise on that um, with just some simple ingredients to really highlight what's delicious about fresh, beautiful fish out of New Hampshire waters. Vinny's famous pickled onions. We got some blood orange. There we go. Fresh lemon. Tons of herbs. Because nothing's better with fresh fish than herbs. Tons of herbs. This, we're gonna need this. Please. This. That's good. We want somebody skill on the fish, and it's not me. Excellent, excellent. This, I'm not even gonna 
that skin's all right. I mean, it could be. Did you break, did it break through? Oh, you got, oh. He's got me. Those things suck. <laughs> God damn it, bastard. <laughs> he bit me. He's not even alive and he bit me. water to like peel it. To peel all the stuff off yep. basically. To peel the skin off and then we're gonna have, you know, what you get out of Roasted peppers in like an Italian, in like an Italian joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's do we get a little pickerel and um, bluegill for an appetizer with uh, pickled onions and then we're gonna do a whole bluegill stuffed stuffed with uh, stuff with some herbs and we'll also do that with some herbs and some citrus and blood orange and you know well this little that
Big Gil. Big Gil. Oh, that's a view. That is a freaking view. First bite of the pickerel. Wow. That looks great, Vinny. Oh, I see Chris coming right now. Okay. Wonder if he's gonna take this. Yeah, it's got some of these bones, but whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh my god. How is it? Alright. Vincenzo. Alright. We're doing it. This is so good. You just gotta get the little bones out. Oh man. Are we ready for our appetizer or what? Oh yeah. Wow guys. It's appetizer time. I have this a beautiful Cambodian peppercorn. So this is actually like this little kind of mix of a Nordic style dish. We did pickerel. This is the first time I've ever actually ever cooked or eaten pickerel. But it's kind of an oily fish. It's got really good uh, qualities that you would get in like a Nordic uh, a Nordic kind of fish or a Nordic fish dish. And then we paired that with some pickled onions because pickled and pickerel. That's not really why we did it. We did it because you got the fatty fish and you got pickled onions to kind of cut that fat. And then I had these incredible, incredible fermented peppercorns, which my friend uh, who's an amazing chef in Singapore, uh, Jen, gave to me. Um, they are fermented peppercorns. Cambodia is famous for their peppercorns and then and then they went and fermented them. So we're just gonna finish that. Boom. What's some nice chunky pepper. Fresh dill. I mean, if we wanna get really crazy and Nordic with it, then we do like some creme fraiche or some sour cream or something like that. <laughs> but here we go. And then I'm really interested in getting that, getting into that bluegill too. I, I should probably you should have try. a flake of it. This is a, this is a head chef here. This is the pickerel, this is the bluegill. I want bluegill. Nice. I want it to taste like That's a great Oh wow. Wow, Vinny. Wow. This is unbelievable. Pickerel tastes like chicken. Wow. Holy shit, that's great. <laughs> I know, it's so good. Wait, wait, what Guys. was that? <laughs> I didn't get the drone. <laughs> but I still got a reward. <laughs> I, I, I don't eat freshwater fish for a plethora of reasons. I would pay top dollar for this right here. Totally. 150%. And this is, what, did I eat pickerel? Yeah. I ate pickerel. You guys have no idea what that means. Can't wait to tell my wife. I do. <laughs> <laughs> have a bigger piece. I'll have another little piece. Let's see what's up. I'm going to have to do... Uh, Get into that, and I'm gonna throw these on the grill. You eat that last piece of bluegill, dude. I'm super into this bluegill. What have you been doing with this, Vinny? So I took habaneros and some Thai chilies, some of my favorite chilies in the world, and I fermented them with garlic and salt and a little bit of onion for about six months, and they're hot as hell, but they're so, so good, so delicious. And what it, this is gonna do is, we have our, our acidity and sweetness from our blood oranges, we have our freshness from our herbs, and we have you know, a ton of sweetness and acidity from our roasted peppers. 
a little bit of lemon juice in there, some olive oil, some fat to cut it, and then this heat's just gonna cut through everything to kind of make, to balance everything out so we get like explosion of flavors. We're not gonna serve this, you know, integrate exactly with the fish, but it's like, you take a bite of fish, take a little bite of salad. Take a bite of fish, take a bite of salad. Take a couple bites of fish, a little more salad. You know, <laughs> just, just, just let it freshen your palate up a little bit and kind of enjoy it with the fish. My mouth, I'm literally salivating from that. <laughs> the idea of these bad boys, they're so freaking good. It sounds vibrant. It just, that's the only word I can think of. Yeah, vibrant. yeah, very bright, very bright. That guy, he's just ready to go. Let's hope this guy's ready too. Oh, yep. this guy's ready too. Yep. Let me give this guy. Oh, this one I'm gonna have to. Uh, no, that should be fine actually. Mm. Mm. What you got in there? So I stuffed it with lemon herb mm -hmm. and um, some lemon, some herbs. Uh, some fresh onion, a bunch of salt, pepper, and olive oil. That flavor is just gonna permeate the fish. The lemon and onion definitely are gonna. Yeah. Definitely kick into play there. And, and one of the interesting things about that, we're talking about freshwater fish having like that very distinct flavor. It's gonna almost balance that flavor out a little bit. So you're not having the like, maybe what some people would consider off-putting. I kind of enjoy it. You know, no, not for I'm everybody. I'm the off-putting guy. Not for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy where that taste of fish is like, I don't want that. But man, when I had that pickerel, my jaw would have dropped, except I would have lost the food, and that's no good. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have been happy. Yeah. Then you would have had, so it would good. be $10 instead um, of 5 Yeah. <laughs> Like I said before, we don't know the name of this segment yet, or this show, or whatever you want to call it. So, drop some comments down below what we should call this. You know, Head Chef, Fish and Grubs, I don't fucking know. But, it's working out. It's working out real good. The appetizer was dope, and now we're going to get into this. Alright. Well, guys, sorry, I'm just going to take the best part. Go for it. Yeah. Alright. Here, oh my god, oh. that's it. That's the spot. Do that. Huh? Mm-hmm. That is money. <gasps> yeah, bro. Now we're talking. <laughs> Beauty. That's the side. You call that? It's pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, guys. Dig. Yum. <laughs> Salad is so good. Blood orange. Oh my god. That's so good. Bend down. <laughs> Land it right in the plate though. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> good. Salad is fucking mean. Thanks dude. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna debone it over here and then give you some put all the uh, good shit on there. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's not the part we eat. That's a bone. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm. Those peppers are unreal. Thanks, dude. Um, oh, that orange, yeah. That orange hit the the fish flavor, and then just the, like the fish flavor itself was like, I want to say gone, but not. It was married. Mm. Yeah. So good. Where'd that pepper go? It's not going to waste. <laughs> oh, there's some mealworms in there. Uh, we're doing a sustainable food seminar. Me, her, and one other person, and she was telling me all about the mealworms and this and that, and then. You know, one of the audience members, when it was Q&A time, was like, um, Chef Finney, can you please do a dish with the mealworms? And I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> so we did a little collaboration, and I did a mealworm ragu with, uh, with on polenta. And it was delicious, because mealworms are actually super healthful. They're very sweet, Todd says. And 
Yeah, Whenever he bites the head off one, he's like, they're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he does it like a pro. Oh, he is a pro. He is he a pro. That today. I went yeah. to try it once and I couldn't even get the thing to my mouth. Well, guys, it's way after dark. We really had to work hard for the fish today, but thank you so much to Chef Vinny Loria of many different restaurants. I'm not going to try and name them all. He already named them all for you. <laughs> We're going to leave Vinny's Instagram linked down below, so please go give him a follow. Let him know we sent you. So freaking pumped for today. This was absolutely epic. Although the fishing was slow, we still managed to have a great time and we still managed to fill our bellies with some insanely good fish. And for Chris Ellis, Mr. Tightlines, also linked down below, uh, for him to have eaten some freshwater fish and then admit that he liked it was, <laughs> was crazy town. So guys, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well. We're dropping videos every single weekday. And this new chef series on fishing grubs that doesn't have a name yet is going to be coming out all year. This is, this is something that is going to be hopefully a staple on this channel and maybe, you know, turn into something big because uh, I know a lot of great chefs in the Boston area and we're gonna be trying to get them behind the camera, out fishing, and doing some really cool catch and cooks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Fish on! Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on to bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a two.